Hey guys, today I'm doing another review of a Diamond Select Toys Art Asylum Star Trek uh, ship collectible. And here I got today, it just came in, is the USS Excelsior NCC 2000. Uh, finally got her in today after a little bit of a wait, but she's finally here. And uh, it's going to be a nice uh, addition to my uh, collection. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the box packaging real quick. Start off with that. Um, same uniform style box packaging from the last two years. And it's uh, the same exact uh, size uh, packaging uh, the Enterprise B came in. And then, of course, we got USX Excelsior NCC 2000 Electronic Starship. And then we just got here the little sticker with the phrases and sound effects uh, listing and then uh, let's go ahead and flip over the back and then as far as the the back is we got a nice uh, large image of the Excelsior and we've got the little listing there of the length, dex, crew, and maximum warp speed and then we got the bio, um, I'll quickly read through that. The USS Excelsior was a f uh, the first in a new class of Federation starships, larger than existing Constitution class. It was originally intended to uh, possess transwarp drive, making it capable of greater speeds than any other Federation vessel, but the great experiment ultimately failed after a series of trials under the first commander, Captain Stiles. Refitted with the standard warp engines, Excelsior went into service in 2290 under the command of uh, Captain Hikaru Sulu, formerly of the Enterprise. Uh, following the ship's uh, initial three-year scientific mission, Excelsior was involved in a battle at Kittimer against the experimental new Klingon bird of prey with a new design deemed a success. New ships in this class were greenlit, included the Enterprise B, and then Excelsior soon uh, became one of the... Uh, most uh, widely used designs in Starfleet remaining in service for nearly a century. Um, just to note, there is a misspelling on the word following right there, as you can see. But other than that, everything else looks uh, really good. So, nice big picture there of the Enterprise B. So, that's a uh, box. Uh, that it comes in and then oh uh, the other thing I want to note no extra batteries uh, like the B the B came with the extra set of batteries the, the Excelsior does not so just to mention that alright so let's go ahead and take a look at the Excelsior itself uh, as far as the ship goes uh, very similar to the Enterprise B um, Except for a few things you're going to see right off the uh, bat here. The molding here is uh, slightly different. You don't have that uh, molding that protruding out on the side here. Um, as far as the top part of the saucer section, you don't have the two deflector dish, I mean the deflector, two impulse uh, decks here on both sides. And then uh, on the top, uh, the color scheme is a little different, the more of a darker blue there um, as well and then um, as well as for the uh, nacelles are a bit different they're on the B the uh, the moldings different on the front and back this one had more of a clean uh, slick look to it and then um, as far as uh, the ship itself uh, there is the I did check and let me get a try and see if I can get a better focus it, it does say Excelsior on there as you can see and not Enterprise so at least they corrected that on the first run of the Excelsior uh, uh, ships and then um, the deflector dish uh, the, you see that the outer part of the deflector dish is a bit darker blue they colored that in that's a, little, that's a bit different um, but other than that uh, the back part here uh, looks to be the same um, the color scheme is a little darker blue compared to the uh, the, Excel, uh, the Enterprise B uh, as far as the paint, uh, some of the paint highlights on there uh, the battery cover in the same position as well as of course the uh, the switch on on the bottom here to try me in to the standard play mode and then of course the bottom part here you got some more uh, detailed paint apps uh, this one looks to be a little more darker blue than a B as well as this part there and then the other thing uh, on I noticed on my ship no dirty wash 
as you can see, really nice and clean. Uh, a lot of uh, collectors complained about the dirty wash on the on the the B edition, but on uh, mine, it's uh, really clean. Uh, I'm not sure if they did away with it or mine or if just mine is just really clean, but uh, yeah. So uh, really, uh, really nice that they left it off of uh, off of the. Um, Excelsior there. So, uh, anyways, let's go ahead and go through the sound effects on um, the Excelsior. If I can get it back on a stand. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Okay, so it's the same exact stand as well. They didn't really do any changes. Uh, the stand is actually uh, on the bees are pretty good, so they don't think they did went with any changes on there. So, um, all right. So, the sound effects, real quick. Captain's Log, USS Excelsior, Hikaru Sulu, commanding. On the screen, magnify. Okay, so that's all the sound effects there. Um, of course, as uh, seen in the movie Undiscovered Country. And then um, you also have your um, light display uh, mode as well. And nicely uh, lit up auxiliary uh, impulse crystals on the top. Uh, as well as the deflector dish is nicely lit up as well. Just like how the B was. And then, of course, you've got your... Um, uh, nacelles. Oh, let me go ahead and turn the light down just a bit so we can kind of get a better look. And then, of course, we got your uh, impulse engines, nicely lit up red. But yeah, so uh, as far as the light up features, uh, very similar to the B. Just the B had those extra uh, imp impulse engines there, but. Uh, Anyways, let me uh, let's do a little comparison while I've got uh, both ships, and we can just quickly look. Um, the other thing I noticed, uh, as far as comparison goes, uh, both ships, uh, the the B has a slightly uh, darker uh, base uh, color, gray, more of a gray, while this one's a more of a lighter, lighter maybe like a sky gray, I guess, more of a lighter style gray. Uh, the other thing, these pink. The paint apps, as far as the the these uh, uh red square hatch markings, they don't have that on the Excelsior. Uh, the other thing I noticed um on the the designation on the Excelsior it has a more of a bluish uh, tinge to it. Um, the USS Enterprise is still in its red and black, and this one both are in the red and black. And then of course the Right around the bridge area, you can see there's a difference on the color scheme and the molding here. It has this gray molding. This one has, does not have that. It just has a this uh, the blue paint app. And then as far as the, uh, you can see, two the two impulse engine uh, engines not there. And then a the little bit of a difference here. You got little moldings in there uh, for the Excelsior compared to the B does not have it and then if you can see right on the nace, uh, in front of the nacelles the B has this uh, kind of fin protruding on the top uh, compared to the Excelsior just clean uh, no molding on top uh, as far as the, uh, the color 
a little bit lighter blue compared to this and a little bit darker blue and then on the backs seem are the same and then the back part of the fins like I said uh, the bee had this uh, little fin while the, the excelsior does not have them and then the other one on the secondary hull you can see um, the excelsior on the bottom here more of a slicker uh, rounded uh, on the secondary hull compared to the the B has that this protruding molding here deck uh, piece and then uh, as far as yeah that and then uh, like I said the color scheme the, uh, the the B has more of a greenish uh, color to it compared to uh, the Excelsior as that darker blue but uh, yeah as far as that goes um, uh, pretty much uh, uh, that's the only difference is uh, oh this the, this marking here is a little different compared to the striping there but uh, yeah so a little bit different on the color scheme uh, a little bit different as far as the base color of both ships uh, as you can see a lot darker gray on this one and then like I said they did uh, they did without the uh, the dirty wash on this compared to uh, on the you can see it all or all on the surface there but uh yeah so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and put my B on a side so that's the Excelsior there uh, other than that no other noticeable uh, uh, defects that I could see uh, real nice clean piece here so uh, I, uh, as far as uh, sh the ship goes uh, I recommend picking her up uh, like I said uh, real nice collectible uh, uh, if you're collecting these ships uh, She's a, a really nice piece to add on to your collection. But um, other than that, guys, if you have any uh, comments or questions, uh, please let me know. Or if you get her your Excelsior, and please let me know if she comes with that dirty wash or not. Like I said, I'm not sure if they uh, discontinued that uh, paint app on the Excelsior releases. Mine does not have it, so uh, it could be on there it, uh, on other ships. Uh, like I said, Diamond Select, they've had some issues with that. Uh, but uh, other than that, that's pretty much it for this review. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Uh, please uh, leave a comment or question. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. You guys have a good one.